Hey everybody, my name is Kadim and welcome back to another video of NHL 19 franchise mode. Sorry in advance for not doing a video yesterday, even though I told you guys that I was going to do a little bit more videos uh, uh, eventually. Uh, it didn't happen yesterday because I was uh, out on a re job reunion and everything, so I didn't. I was spent, completely spent energy-wise and everything. I was way too tired and everything to do a video but right now i'm good uh, i've got a got a free day and everything so i'm good i've got uh henry Ecker in here that did pretty well in the playoffs so we ended up losing in the seventh game against the capitals the washington capitals in the final of the east so we were really there right there one more goal Basically, and we lost in OT too, so one more goal, boys. It's just one more goal, and we were in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now, if Washington goes on to win the Cup, I'm going to be pretty happy because that means we're going to have... We, we will lose against uh, the Stanley Cup champions. So, I'm pretty... I'll, I'll be pretty excited about this. I'll be pretty... De it's it's going to be pretty decent. So, let's just sim to the draft. I'm not going to do any more uh, scouting thing. Don't feel like it's uh, at this point it's really worth it. Let's just do that, boys. I I'm really excited to see what kind of draft we can get this year. Yes, there we go. Washington got, uh, won the cup. Now, I'm excited to for that because I'm happy about that because uh, basically it means that we lost against the Stanley Cup champions. So it's not that big of a deal. We lost against the best team basically of the year. Uh, which is surprising because when you when we saw the roster of that team, it was not that interesting. We almost beat them, defeated them. I don't know why why they would go on to win the cup, but uh, congrats to them. Without uh, without Ovechkin, they got rid of Ovechkin and they win the cup afterwards. So that's pretty interesting from them. Los Angeles looks like it's gonna have the first overall. Arizona, for Christ's sake, is gonna have the second. Arizona needs to stop being a thing, boys. They need to get out of here. Oh my god, the worst team ever. Oh well. Let's see where we are going to be. I don't I don't know exactly. I didn't see us uh, in the draft in the fi first 15. Of course, it's normal since we got pretty far in the playoffs. Now, Patrick Marlowe is going to take his retirement. Let me just go for fours really quick. So Patrick Marlowe, the biggest one, a legend in, uh, in itself, uh, takes his retirement. You can see his stats, pretty good, decent stats. Retired at 42 years of age. He still was a deaf, so he had a longevity, boys. One of, one of these longevity. Vanek, Williams, Miko Koivu, Jeff Carter, all right, Dustin Brown, all these guys right here. We got in the defense wise, do we have any legends? We do. We have three legends. I count them as that. Five, at 500 points overall in your career, you're a legend for me uh, as a defenseman. So, Buffalgun, Ke Duncan Keith, and Seabrook, all three of them are legends, and all three of them basically took their retirement this year. And uh, two out of those three players, even three probably, I may. I think Buffalo gonna uh, no never played for Chicago, did he? I don't I don't know I don't remember I don't think so. But Duncan Keith and Seabrook, both well Duncan Keith a former Blackhawks of course his entire year almost. So these guys really good, and uh, Cromwell was almost there almost there maybe one more season I don't you know forget about it he was an other defenseman at this point so he didn't even finish up in the NHL which is sad and goaltender wise for retirement we do have a legend in uh, Robert, uh, Roberto Luongo I don't know why I botched his name for some reason boys 585 goal wins that is uh, crazy that's that's really crazy in, in itself that's a uh, I don't even know if it does it actually beat I think it beats uh, Patrick Roy's record. I think it's right. He's right below uh, Brodeur now. So he's second. He's the second goaltender with the most wins in in the history, basically. So that's uh, that's crazy. And Cam Ward on the on the Montreal Canadiens. 
going to take his retirement. What, what, what was he? Was he a backup? Oh, Marnie, minor starting. Okay. All right, then. Uh, I, I just want to see really quick what we lost for our team. Because I know we lost some people here. So we lost, of course, obviously, we lost Baffelgen. So this is maybe, no, actually, it doesn't hurt at all. Because I went for him just for the... Uh, he played a little bit of death, but he became a, a top four. That's a good thing he retires, because he, he, he basically didn't want to play in the a AHL any more than what he did this year. And uh, that's about it, I guess, goaltender-wise. We do have Mike Smith, so our backup goaltender decided to retire at 40 years of age. So we lost our backup to goaltender. We're going to need to look for another one. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what we can get out of the draft pick this year we had pretty decent draft picks uh, all years around so we do have hang on let me check real quick all right so we got the 28th so this is our real draft pick i imagine we traded for other draft first rounders as well so we got for other first rounders we also got the 22 this was for 22nd i think that's it so 22nd and 28th that's our two draft picks we can move up pretty decently with that. I'm thinking we can probably move up out of 12th position with these two draft picks in it uh, themselves, boys. So I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try to move from t t 10 draft picks in total. Right? I love to do doing that. So here we go. Uh, this should work, I think. Yes. We, sh we can probably move up even more, it looks like, with uh, the way it works. So, probably 10th position, even. Uh, all the way to the Montreal Canadiens. So, Montreal Canadiens? I want to have, the, like, the best player available. I want to have the best draft picks every time. But we best first rounder. So, we this might go through. This might go through. It does. It does. So, we trade our two first rounders for a closer first rounder. The 10th pick overall. Now let's see if we can't move that up even further, uh, guys. So, one, two, three. Let's go. Let's try to do it this, uh, all the way to the seventh round. Imagine if we can get the first round. I doubt it's gonna work. Uh, it didn't work a couple of years ago. I think two or th one or two years ago it was. It didn't work. We'll try it out anyways. Uh, Bartley, no Bartley. I'm keeping him. All these players, the medium elites, I'm keeping them for sure. Bartley is already like a 77. He's gonna be ready this year to play in the uh, in our team, boys. Which is really gonna be crazy. It's gonna be great. Uh, Patrick Schwartz. So these are the kind of players. Schwartz, I'm gonna keep him because he's gonna be ready for our team. He's gonna play in our team. Uh, Atcher. All right, we got a bunch of these players now. We probably cannot. Tr uh, go for one of these uh, top nines we only have a bottom six anyway available so Pratt we can probably trade him so I'm thinking him maybe and this could work actually this could work it does not it's not enough so I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe a top six maybe I could add another one uh, maybe a top six with him so I'm thinking this guy, okay, Vatanen, and they're rejecting, so they don't want him. All right, it's not going to work out, I think. Doesn't look like it's going to work out, boys, in the end, because we do have the advantage now, and they don't want it. So doesn't look like we're going to get what we want. Doesn't look like it. We could probably try trading uh, low leads. I'm not. Uh, I'm not scared anymore of trading low elites, especially since they're in the f if they're in the 50s, um, they're not gonna grow that much. So they're I'm not a, like I'm not gonna be playing them eventually. Like I don't think I'm gonna be playing them or anything. I'm not gonna go out and do a 20 f like 25 years completely. So I mean, some of them I'm not gonna see grow. So we're gonna try for this guy Bruyette. See if he's going to be good or not. Uh, they don't want to. All right. So maximum we could get, I guess. We went for the low elites. It didn't work. So maximum we could get, we could have got is a 10th pick. So we are going to go for the 10th pick. 
Uh, first overall looks like it's uh, Binoral, which is a 81 overall, boys. Playmaker, left winger, third score for uh, liner, of course. Looks like, let me look at him. Looks like he's a sniper. He plays like a sniper, so a playmaker, but plays like a sniper. Let's go to our draft pick, sim to user pick. Let's see what we, what we got in front of us. So medium elite, centerman Lebedev, 79. We got a 77, Saint Denis. We got a lot of uh, Quebecer, uh, Quebecers right here. Um, 77, all right. We got another medium elite, Kapitanov, 79 overall. Now they they dropped the ball. Uh, New Jersey dropped the ball on this one. Uh, Elianuk, uh, 81 overall. So that's a steal. Basically from Chicago, which they lost a player. They lost, the, they lost a defenseman. They are going for the offense right here. Modano, top six, top four, top four. All right. Most of uh, that's three teams in a row now that they're, they made a mistake. So let's capitalize on that, boys. Let's capitalize on that. See what we can get. Now, of course, this year, there's another medium franchise goaltender that we can pick up. I'm going to make sure to pick him up. And that's not worth we don't need to worry about that, boys. I am going to pick him up. No worries. Anything that's medium franchise or something like that. Oh, I'm picking them up for sure. Um, even though it's always goaltenders, there's no, it's never like forwards or the skaters uh, in itself. So that's what's scaring me a little bit. I would wish it would be for players like these. Like, I don't know. Anyways, there's Frolov right here. I think I might take him. Even though this guy says it's a high elite. But he's not scouted fully. He's a 131st overall anyways. And this guy's set up to be the next one really. Really the top next one. Devils is the one we're seeing right now I believe. Uh, Devils, I'm not entirely sure. Because we haven't scouted him properly. Looks like he's going to be an A. I don't know if he's actually an elite or not. That's the problem. So an A, B, B, C, C, C. So basically 80, 70, 70, uh, 60, 60, 60. So it might be in the mid 60s, the uh, 70s. Uh, he's got a prospect to be in the mid 70s. But I don't know. I don't know how to feel about him. I don't know, boys. He's from the QHL, so... He might be good, he might not. I don't, I really don't know. I really don't know how what to think about him. I'm thinking I kind of want to go for the safe route, like uh, this guy right here, Frolov, which is 18 years of age. What about Devils? 18 as well. I don't know. Which one would be better? The, the guy from Russia or the, the Frenchman? I don't know, boys. So this guy B, he's got less, uh, his stats are not as good. They don't look that they don't look as good. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm gonna go I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something out. I'm gonna go for Devos. I know this might not be the the right the right pick, but I'm gonna go for him. Oh my god, medium top six. I made the mistake. I made a mistake, boys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. I'm not the only one at least. I'm not the only one. I made a terrible mistake. I could have gotten the medium elite guaranteed. I should have went for the guarantee. The medium elite boys. And I I went for a, I went for a blowout right here. Went for a poker thing. And uh, didn't work out at all. Did not work out at all for us. I got screwed over in the first round pick. I tr remember I traded my... My two first rounder for this bullshit. Oh, that was a terrible first round. First rounder. Terrible first rounder. But it is what it is. We'll take it anyways. If it's a, now, there is this guy. Which is a goaltender. 63 overall. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take a chance on this guy, man. But I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to do it because... I uh, took a chance for the other guy. It didn't work out at all. Top, I mean, th medium top six is good. It's not a medium elite. So I'm not interested in that. We've got Chelios in here. So one of these two goaltenders. One of these two, boys. 
We've got uh, even though uh, Chelios. I'm gonna go for uh, Machovsky, even though he's not gonna be have decent like. He's not gonna have good stats all the way here. He's gonna be like Pross. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to play him, and make him grow really fast. He's also a gem, which helps out a lot. So. Machowski, welcome to the team. 47 overall, EDM franchise. It's also eventually like if we don't, we know we're not gonna use him. Well, uh, eventually him or Pross, we can trade one of them. All right, we got two medium franchise goaltender on our team now as prospects, so we can do that. We can eventually do that. We can trade them as well if we know we're not gonna use them. So let's see what we got next. I really want to take a uh, take a chance on this guy. I really want to take it, so I'm gonna do it. That's the thing. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm taking chances this year. I'm seeing a, a high elite potential. Uh, yeah, like competition is Cedo. Uh, has not played that well uh, against really good teams and anything. Doesn't look like he's got really good stats at, at all. He's a CC. I don't know. His stats don't look that good, actually. His stats don't look that good. That's the problem. It says he's a high elite, but I don't know, boys. <sighs> Let's take a chance on him. It's the last one I'm taking a chance on. Last one. Yeah, alright. Bottom six. Alright. I got screwed again. What am I doing this year? Guys, it said high elite. He's a top. He's a bottom six. What the fuck? That's a that, too terrible trade, too terrible right here. That was an actual terrible one. Oh my, I'm not gonna take any ch any more chances. Forget about it. It's over. Not no more chances. Now this guy says he's the gem. Is a uh, competition's A, so that's really good. So I'm taking him. I'm taking him already. Actually, he's 19 years of age. It's all a bunch of 19 years of age though. I might just want to take instead this guy. He's A plus his competition, so yeah, I'm taking this guy instead. Maxwell, uh, low elite. Let's take him up, pick him up, boys. And uh, low elite, 54 overall, pretty decent, pretty decent. Another one to add to our roster. All right, we're gonna pick things back up, hey guys. Uh, missed, uh, messed up on two chances. I'm not gonna mess up again. I'm not messing up again. That's it's over. That's that's not a thing that's gonna happen anymore. So here's all of our low elites. We've got a couple of choices. We do have this guy as well, maybe. But it's, it's C minus. You gotta look at the, the competition in front of them. You also gotta look at so all three of them are have good competition. You also gotta look at their, at their stats, basically where they are right now in the league. So this guy has some Bs. So I'm I, I'm gonna take a. I, I yeah I want to have uh, Bobkov. It seems like a really good guy. Seems like he's gonna be pretty decent for us. So Bobkov, let's see what we got. Low elite 57 overall. So the the other one was 54, I believe. So this guy's a 57. He's a power forward. So interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see if he really is. For me, the looks of it, I think he's more of a playmaker. But uh, we'll see how he simulates in the actual team or anything eventually when he's going to be ready. All right, let's go for the next draft pick. Uh, we're going to like, it's going to be a, a good draft pick overall. Like every year, basically, it's just I messed up big time on the first overall. Like I went all the way. I traded for the the 10th pick and I went instead of going for the guarantee me, like medium elite. I went. I'm. I'm so mad about that one. I'm still mad. I'm still mad about that one, boys. Okay, let's see what we got. We might have uh, something decent right here, actually. Uh, it's almost scouted fully. Almost scouted fully, but it's a C minus. That's a thing. Um, I kind of want to. I'm kind of tempted to just see. There we go. Competition right here. Someone w that had the competition, but. Someone that's 18 years of age as well, you know, you want someone that's 18 years of age now This one's not gonna be good. You can see because he's got some D's in here. This one's 20 years of age But his stats are not looking that good All right, let me see really quick the stats. I know I'm gonna look for someone that has good decent stats 
so B but not well scouted at all not really someone that's uh, I'm looking for someone that's it says B but it's kind of well scouted and everything so it doesn't look like I have any we, we do have a, a guaranteed top six right here but I don't want to take that so we're gonna have to take chances in here I'm gonna go I guess for this guy he's uh, 18 years of age it says it's a low late it's probably just a top six a uh, Ford but let's uh, let's pick him up let's see what he is yeah he's a low top six that's what I figured uh, Reichel 51 overall to a Ford all right pretty decent pretty decent uh, a sim to user pick and that was our last draft pick actually so pretty decent it's a no it's an all right draft pick it's not like the other ones it's not as good as the other ones because I messed up badly but it's still pretty decent and we already had the prospects everywhere basically all right I got a lot of uh, scouts that I gotta resign so let me do this so obviously we need a right wing position we need a right wing minor a minor for the right wing we need a def for the def uh, defenseman and the top two for a uh, top two for the defenseman and a backup for the goalie let's see what we got let's see what we got as an option so sentiments first here we go we can just look at what we got as an option basically so Fords we got throw check in here the nothing really spectacular for the sentiments Left wingers, there's always going to be every year something spectacular though. So there it is right there. Go draw. Uh, go, uh, go draw, boys. 90 overall. He's still 80, in, in 98, uh, two, 28 years of age. I don't know what I'm saying. He's a really good player. Really good player. It would be great to have him on the team, but we already have Panarin. We already have Panarin, so I, uh, I don't need him. So let's see what we got. Uh, right wing, we got two first rounders. We got Sam Reinhardt and Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel, which might actually drop to a second or a second liner, might actually drop to a second liner. But that's a legit right there. That's the type of player uh, you would need for uh, Ecker for sure. And Sam Reinhardt's pretty young for them to, for the Buffalo Sabers to get rid of him like that. It's pretty young. I don't know about that, boys. He seems like a really good player. First liner, first round, uh, first line and everything. 57 points. Like, he does a lot of points. Looks like he's more of uh, an assist man, though. He's definitely an assist man. So, not the type of player we need with... We would need with Ecker. We would need, though, a guy with uh, this talent right here of his. Uh, Kessel. What about sentiments, though? Uh, uh, no, left wing. What about the left wing? Godro. Is he a good player or not? Uh, I mean, is he the type of player we need for our team? Looks like he's an assist man as well. Looks like he's an assist man, yeah. So none of them are really interested to, interesting to me at all, boys. Uh, Kessel might be, though. So let's see Kessel. I feel like Kessel is probably a scorer. Let me see real quick. Yeah, Kessel is definitely a sniper. Pretty decent. I feel like he's the player we, we would need for a team. Instead of Menta, someone like Menta. Uh, I'm thinking I might take my chance on him. I might sign him. Even though it's really old, that's the only thing that's dropping me off. Is Menta still has a couple years uh, on him. He's, had, like, he's still a really good young, prospect, uh, young player. Um, Kessel's not. Kessel is getting young. I don't know, I don't know, boys. I feel like I shouldn't. I shouldn't get him. I don't need. I don't need a first liner, anyways. So I'm not gonna get that. For a fourth round, so we need a deaf, uh, not deaf, but a minor uh, player, basically for players. So that's what we need. I'm gonna get Sherwood, maybe. Let's see what we got. Sherwood, what are you exactly? Are you good enough? I feel like you might be good enough for the team. Uh, maybe, maybe I could get a, a deaf, actually a deaf forward. Maybe I could get one, but 80 overall is a little bit too much for a deaf. I feel like uh, 80 overall might be uh, way too OP, so I'm gonna go uh, in here low 70s. 
So maybe this guy right here, Nielsen, uh, 83, 80, and 84. He's going to be a really good player, actually, for us. Play a power forward. I might play him, boys. I might take him. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, Nil Nelson. I'm going to take Nelson. Why not? So, yeah, let, let's sign him. So this is going to be our... Maybe the death for... He's probably going to play instead of Cogliano. Cogliano's probably going to be playing in uh, in the AHL from the looks of it. So Ristolainen in defense-wise. So we've got choices right here. we got choices for the top two. We gotta, we're going to get another top two playing with Petriangelo. Better than Hamilton. We can get either Ristolainen, Seth Jones, or Mike Riley. Which one should I pick, boys? It's up to you, really. They're all two-way two, two defensemen. They're all the same type of players. Uh, they also have the same amount. Uh, they're pretty like the main. They're pretty main. Pretty much the same thing. Let's see who produces the most. I guess. Let's see who produces the most. Who's the best uh, option right here? Uh, stats wise, 93, 92, 90. All right. Uh, this one. Okay, Seth Jones is a little bit worse for wear. So definitely. From the stats themselves, just for the stats, Ristolainen looks like the best option. Looks look how much how much point does he put up? Forty one points passes the puck a lot. Well, obviously he's a defenseman, but um, aside if you're up, I feel like if you're a defenseman, you're making a five more than five percent of your shots. You're definitely like a score or something. Someone who can score goals. I believe at least that's the way it is. Uh, Morgan Riley actually scores a lot of goals. He's the one that scores the most goals. I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick, uh, guys. You guys should let me know, really. Who's got the best shot? Looks like Ristolainen. I don't know. I'm kind of sold on Ristolainen. I'm going to go for Ristolainen. I feel like he's the best choice, really. So wrist line, and I'm going for him. Sorry, guys, I'm not going for Morgan Riley or the other one. All right, I'm not going for Seth Jones. So wrist line and light right away. I'm going for him. Gonna have a lot of uh, people wanting him. I'm I'm gonna sign him for seven year, eight point seven five uh, two five, eight point seven two five seven years. Let's get you into our team. Mr. Line, and then we got a two. We got it. We need a two deaf defenseman. So, deaf defenseman. Let's see what we can get. Probably, actually, we don't really need a deaf defenseman now that I think about it, don't we? I don't think we need one. No, I don't think we need a deaf defenseman. We need a minor uh, defenseman, I think. That's what we need. Oh no, we need a deaf because we don't know if uh, our early defenseman is going to be an actual. Death or not. Okay, yeah. So, death defenseman. We might take this one. Uh, th this guy right here. Let's see what we got. Defensive defenseman 2. Uh, 70. Yeah, he's not going to be good. How about this one? Bertuzzo. Actually, pretty good. Bertuzzo, pretty decent. Defensive defenseman 2. So, I'm thinking this guy as, a, the, as our defenseman. I don't need to give him a big contract or anything. So, that's good. And backup goaltenders now. Let's look at our backup goaltenders. What we got? My my God, Mo Matt Murray. Looks like uh, Pittsburgh forgot about him completely. They don't want none of him. All right, just like they did to Flurry, boys. Another mistake. All right, Corpusalo. Let's see what we can get for um, backup. I guess. Okay, probably get uh, one of these guys right here. Now I don't want to get a French starter because they're not. They're they're gonna be they're not gonna be backups anymore. So what I want is one of these guys right here. One of these three guys that are available right now. Definitely, yeah. Or or Crawford. We could always pick up Crawford, but let's see what we got. Poise. Where is it at? It's uh the poise is terrible. Poise is terrible. Uh this guy actually has some pretty decent poise. So I feel Michael Nervert might be the best option. How about Crawford? Actually has 90 overall. Okay, I'm going to pick up Corey Crawford. Why not? 
37 years of age, right? He's won many Stanley Cups. He's won like two or three Stanley Cups in his career. I feel like we, he deserves another contract and a contract as a backup. Uh, we're getting there for the Stanley Cup. We might give him a chance for the Cup again. So we really want him in our team. Let's see who's going to sign and who's not going to sign for our team. All right. They're probably going to all say yes. There you go. Bertuzzo. We need to wait a little bit more. We got Ristolainen. And here we go. We got one of the ones we needed. Let's see who signed where. I, I did see Murray. Matt Murray looks like he uh, he signed with the pit, uh, the Boston uh, Bruins. Vorlamov is going to Buffalo, but Vorlamov is not a big time uh, goaltender anymore. We're trying Kadri. Sam Reinhardt. Here we go. There's one. He's going to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is uh, once again going for a big time player. Throw check, all right. Uh, Risto Linen is going for us, of course. Uh, Montreal is going to get Johnny Godot, boys. Montreal has ha just had a great player right there. Just added a great player to their team. Uh, Seth Jones, here we go, to Los Angeles. Morgan Rod is going to Vancouver. All right, Matt Murray, of course, by uh, Bruins. And I think that's about it. The biggest players, really. The top the, the top players on the list. So let's... Uh, I'm going to simulate until the next season. And we'll see what kind of roster we got. Let's see what kind of team we've got this year. In our hands. And who might be, be able to... We, who we might be able to trade if we need to make a trade or something. So, of course, we're going to have Henry Aker, Larkin, Erasmus and all that. So one, two, three, four. Uh, Def Ford, so here's a Def Ford right here. Uh, Peter Schwartz, so he is not eligible for fourth liner. He's not a fourth liner yet. He's not, so that's okay. That's okay. We're just not going to play Olmstrom, basically. Uh, Schwartz, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, he's getting there. Uh, by the end of the year, by the towards the uh, what's it called, the, the trading deadline. He's gonna, definitely going to become a third liner. And usually that's what they become. So he's going to be a third liner. He's going to be ready for us. We, I need to be ready for that too. Um, left wing. We've got one, two, three, four. Cogliano is another uh, forward now. So he's definitely not ready. Definitely not eligible for our de uh, as a deaf forward. We got one, two, three. For Nilsson, uh, deaf defenseman, of course, we knew. All right, so I did the right choice right here. Zablocki was ready for fourth liner. I was thinking he might be. He might be. All right, so he is. He is definitely ready for fourth line position. And uh, that's good. That's good for us. So 78 overall, definitely ready. Uh, is Nilsson is going to be our uh, our back, our deaf defense, uh, deaf forward, I guess. And uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, we're good. What about defenseman wise? All right, so one, two, Bristol Island with Ben Triangelo. One, one hell of a uh, one, two combination right here. Uh, Hamilton, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good. We're really good. And Bertuzzo is our deaf uh, defenseman. Let's see if there's anybody else. All right, Bartley is ready. Uh, so that's why I didn't, I didn't know if he was going to be ready or not. To be a top six but it definitely is so of course we're gonna play him now that that 79 or uh, poise though is troubling me big time that might hurt uh, his stats a lot let me actually see if he's that good what we could just do is get rid of Ro robert pertuzzo and ben hutton can just be a deaf defenseman he's he can be our deaf defenseman and if it doesn't go well for Bartley, we can switch them up back and forth. All right. See who plays the best in the sixth position. All right. We could do that. We could do that. Now, offensive defenseman with offensive defenseman. I don't know if it's going to go that well. Yeah, never mind that then. Never mind that. I can't. I can't do that. Because Sari Jarvis is all the way uh, as well. Uh, the offensive defenseman. We can't have... Two offensive defensemen playing together. That's not going to go well. Um, I don't know. Ben Houghton is a two-way, so 
I'm gonna be keeping uh, Sari Jarvi. I'm gonna have to trade Sari Jarvi, and I'm gonna keep Bartley. Bar uh, Bartley is gonna play with Hotton, I guess. Sari Jarvi, I'm gonna uh, trade him. So this is the player we're gonna trade. Um, anybody else? No, it doesn't look like it. And uh, goaltender wise, we've got one, and Crawford is not a backup. Go uh, Crawford dropped off actually. I didn't think he would drop off. He had the potential, exact backup, so he's not fringe starter or anything. I don't know, boys. Looks like uh, he did drop off, I guess. He's not a backup anymore, but fortunately enough, Prost is. So our infamous first round pick, 12th overall in the second draft we did overall. Really good. He's there, boys. He's ready. He's ready to play in the NHL. So Crawford, you're going to play in the NAHL, I guess. And Pross is finally your backup. Look at this filthy backup, uh, filthy goaltender thing right there. Brabowski and Pross, medium franchise goaltender, ready to play with us. Uh, obviously, he, was, he had really great stats in the AHL as well. Really great stats. 90, 92. Uh, overall, I feel like it's a 91 saving percentage in the AHL two like kind of two goals per game this guy this guy's gonna be great for us he's gonna be a great goaltender of the future and definitely I want to keep him for the future uh, the one that was present problem maybe was Bartley because Bartley I didn't know if he was gonna if he's gonna produce at all I don't know anything about him yeah we're gonna test him out trade to Sarri Jarvi this might be a bad bet this might be uh, not be the, uh, the right choice but I'm gonna test him out I, I don't want to trade right away like my defenseman or anything I really don't want to trade my medium top six defenseman that would be garbage to do that but yeah that, that would be garbage uh sorry Jarvie did the job so I'm gonna keep it uh, uh, he did the job but I, I'm gonna have to trade him up all right boys so Next video, we're going to have some traits to do. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.